everyone, my name is Rebecca Grace from Rebecca Grace Designs and I'm a Squarespace expert and website designer. Today I am pairing up with Convey This to show you a free translator plugin for your Squarespace site. So if you've been looking into translating your website, um, there isn't too many options out there um, that allow it to be done so easily um, and so quickly and for free. So Convey This is just a great option for you to have. It took me about five minutes to put onto my own site. Um, so it's, it's quick, it's easy, it's simple, and it's free. Um, so you can't really get better than that. Um, so if you are trying to break into the international market, let's say you're trying to sell products internationally, there is tons of research out there that shows you need to be translating your website for a variety of languages. One of the big reasons being that research shows people will be more comfortable making purchases if the website's in their own home language. Um, so not only will they be making be more comfortable, um, but that means that your sales will increase and it will also increase your international SEO. Um, so if you've been looking into options for translating your website, look no further. I'm going to show you how to implement Convey This onto your Squarespace website. So the first thing that you'll need to do is go to conveythis.com and create an account. So click in the corner to register, fill in your details, and click register now. You will then need to go to your email and verify your email. Um, since I already have an account, I am going to log in. And you should see something that comes up like this. Um, now you can pick the free forever plan, which allows you one language. Um, so one language to change to with 2,500 words and 10,000 monthly views. You can see everything that's included here. If you do not want more languages than that, they do have business and pro plans, um, but we are just gonna select the free forever plan here and click there and you should see subscribe. So you'll have to subscribe to whichever plan you feel is best, we're going to be using the free forever plan today. So the next thing you'll need to do is go to domains and you'll need to add your domain here. So go over to your Squarespace site um, and find your domain. You'll want to use uh, your live domain, not your .squarespace.com domain, because um, then it will only work when you're in your editor and not on your live site. So you'll want to put your live domain in here. Um, for the purposes of this video, I'm using a template, so I'm going to put my squarespace.com domain in there. Now on WordPress, Joomla, Shopify, or Weebly, they can use an API key here, but it doesn't give us that option in Squarespace for convey this. So I'm gonna show you how to add this to your site. Don't worry, it's super simple. So before we look at adding it into our site, we're gonna to wanna to make sure the settings are set to how we want. So right now, this is what it looks like, this little preview here. So you're going to select the source language, which means which language is your website in right now. And then you can add a target language. So let's say I want to make this Spanish. So I want to have it change between English and Spanish. Then I'm going to select show more options. And on the free plan, we can choose between how we want this flag to appear. So it can be rectangle, square, circle, or no flag. You could have the full text, shortened version of text, or no text. I would keep it as a fixed position and then kind of choose which corner of the page you want it on. Um, so let's say, you know, do you want it on the top or the bottom, the left or the right? And then you can also have this a little bit of spacing. So let's say you have a cookie banner or an announcement or something like that, and you want it to appear above that. I'm going to add some spacing of 24 just to move it up a little bit. You can then also change the flag. So for my English flag, like maybe I want it to be a UK flag or a Canadian flag or something like that. Once you have these settings and this is what you would like it to look like, um, you're gonna click Save Configuration and then click to copy to clipboards. We want all of this code here. We're gonna copy it and come over to our Squarespace site we're going to select settings, advanced, code injection, and then paste that code right here in the header and click save. So just copy and paste, that's it. And then we're going to refresh our page.
then you should see it pop right up again at the bottom and I gave it a little bit spacing to the sides. You can always um, change that up or edit that a bit in the Convey This editor. And you'll notice that when I click here, and you click to change it to Spanish, and instantly, there it is, I have now a Spanish site. How cool is that? Super fast, super simple, and free. <laughs> Now I wanna show you a couple more um, features that they've provided, which I just think is super cool. So um, let's say you're fluent in Spanish and you translate the site to Spanish here and I'm looking through and I'm going, that's not exactly how I want it to um, be written. I don't like that translation. We can fix that. So we're gonna go over to convey this and you can go to my transactions We can see here, this is the page. It's been translated to Spanish. And I can click here to edit the translations. And this allows you to edit it word for word. Um, so maybe we don't like exactly how that's um, edited, a specific word. You can change it to machine, custom, or pro. Um, and in pro, you can order pro to actually go through and do this for you. So you can go in and edit it word for word. You can also, which is super cool, um, edit it right on your site. So you can click the visual editor and go in there. Since my template is not live, um, it's private, Squarespace won't actually let this happen. So you have to make sure your site is live when you do this. But you click visual editor, it will pull up your website and you can edit right on your website, which is just so cool. Um, so again, you go into settings, set the settings how you like, then copy this code and paste it right in your code injection and you're done. That's it. You now have a fully translated Squarespace website.